Okay, so next I want to talk about the um, killing monsters problem. So this is problem K from the set. Um, so the way that this problem worked is that um, we had this collection of uh, monsters that you could fight, and fighting each one was just worth at uh, worth a certain amount, and you needed to do some number of playthroughs, and in each playthrough you could pick one of the monsters, battle it, and get the value that it's worth. Um, you can battle a monster more than once, so that's fine. And you need to do between L and U playoffs. So you have to do a number of playoffs that's in that range. And then the final requirement is that the total value that you collect in your sequence of playoffs that you do has to be uh, divisible by uh, K. So that the, the first thing we probably want to do is uh, take all the monsters, get their values, and figure out what their remainder is um, after dividing by k. So we want to get their values mod k. So the first thing you can do is get this sort of uh, this vector um, that uh, such that you know each of these represent the values like zero up to uh, k minus one, all the uh, the residues uh, mod k. And every time you have a monster that's in here, you just like increment your count, right? And so on. Um, and so this gives you the information you actually need about the monsters. It puts them in the bins that matter. So after this, um, we need to figure out um, how to uh, compute the number of unique um, playthroughs. So that is like uh, sequences of battles um, that have between uh, L and U uh, battles in them. So one naive way of doing this that would be too slow, which we're going to figure out how to speed up, is by doing uh, matrix exponentiation. So um, what you can do is you can kind of observe that um, uh, these numbers could go into a matrix where the, the rows and columns kind of represent. Um, so these are both, it's a k by k matrix. And it uh, represents, each of the cells represent the number of ways of um, uh, going from having uh, a total value that is the value of, like, let's say the row, like, let's say you're at row i, the total value of i, um, the number of ways of going from a total value of i to a total value of j um, by, you know, picking some number of monsters. So in the, in the base version of the matrix, it'll be, I can pick a monster, right? And I can go from having a residue of i to a residue of j if I pick a monster such that if I add that monster to j, mod by k, uh, add that monster to i, mod by k, I get j. And then the observation is that we can exponentiate this matrix um, uh, to get an answer. Um, but the trick is that the number of playthroughs has to be between L and U. It's not a spe spe uh, specific number of playthroughs. So the way that we can solve this is by exponentiating up to L. So we compute the number of ways of getting to exactly L playthroughs by doing this matrix exponentiation. And then we have to modify our matrix a bit and exponentiate um, for the difference between uh, U and L. And we have to change it so that we can include the case where we do nothing. So our sequence has ended, we're not doing any more playthroughs. And, and that sort of captures this idea that, this, that we have to count solutions that are within a range of lengths. And we can do this by um, adding a, a special row and column that represent, um, you know, I have stopped, I'm not doing anything anymore. Um, the problem with this solution is that this is n cubed times the, the log of, uh, I think it's 10 to the 9 or whatever we made the bound on L and U. Um, this won't be fast enough, this is going to get time on it. So we can speed up this matrix ex exponentiation um, by instead using two vectors. So it becomes vector exponentiation, where one of the vectors just represents, um, so each index represents, like say it's at index i, it represents um, the number of ways of uh, getting to a residue of i. And then you can exponentiate that vector using itself and do this vector exponentiation. But then of course we need to be able to represent this, um, this extra row and column we added that was meant to mean, you know, I, I, I ended my playthrough there and I didn't take anything more, I didn't do any more battles. We can do this by just having another vector um, 
that is that sort of represents um, the number of ways of um, doing some playthroughs um, uh, and then stopping before whatever exponent we're up to. And we can use these two vectors the same way we could use our original matrix to get an answer. Um, 